In this discussion, you can see integer data type field in brief. In case you missed previous video related Boolean data type field, please check link given in description. So right now we are adding new field as an integer type school underscore track fields dot integer and giving the label rank so whenever you have to add any integer type so you have to use fields dot integer and as a string name as a label from GUI side you can use string and that value the label name in this model one more colon add as a school underscore rank and also it will impact in database side also so when you go to terminal and execute this query you can see here name email phone number and is virtual class already added but school underscore rank is not visible so right now we will restart the service because we changed in python side go to browser in app store find that module try to upgrade this module once this will finish go to terminal again fire the same query and here you can see uh, it will create one school underscore rank column and type is integer go to browser refresh the page here it won't be visible because we didn't add in XML side so try to create go to apps find that module upgrade the module refresh the page here you can see by default it's a zero if you are trying to non integer field and trying to save here you can see the following field are invalid and label name so we have to give valid integer save now we will check all possible attributes from python end so first one is a string it will be help you to display as a label name so now we will use the second attribute is help and here we have to use a string toolty Restart the service, refresh the page. If you hover the rank field, you can see this is a tooltip. Again, go to Python side. Her command is read only. Once you will add as a true like from front end side it is read only so user can't edit refresh the page try to edit here you can see it's a read only again go to python side and try to use required so this field is mandatory restart the service refresh the page and add it here you can see also color it should change one more command is default command refresh the page add it while adding you can see here by default it's a 400 
and one one more thing is we can also create one method and that method will call in default so let's see how it will do it def this is default If one equal to equal to one, return two hundred. Else, return one hundred. And this one we have to use here using lambda. Lambda. Lm. Lm dot like this refresh the page so if we start the service go to browser refresh the page and you can see here by default it's a 200 so if you have some any conditional part and based on the conditional part you have to return specific data you can also use uh, using lambda and the, your custom method uh, now we will move to xml side like how we will use some command from xml end first of all we will remove this one and we will also remove this function uh, go to here and try to override label name string equal to school rank go to browser here you can see it's only a rank apps find that module try to upgrade and refresh the page it's override by default here you can also add one more attribute class holder go to browser find that app upgrade the module refresh the page and once I will remove here you can see this is class holder one more thing is you can also add read only go to browser apps school upgrade refresh the page here you can see by default it's a zero and it's a read only well we changed so that's it for now in case you have any doubt please comment below and please don't forget to like and subscribe see you in next video